It all started when I curled my hair with over a thousand coffee straws and I'm going to do it again I think one more time before I turn them into a really cool craft project but that's not important I went on vacation in New Orleans for Memorial Day and I looked at the Keurig machine and the k-cups and I was like wow that was the first time I ever looked at hotel k-cups like that I thought they would make an awesome roller they literally look like hair rollers so I decided I was gonna curl my hair with them and there are several repurposing tips online so definitely check them out my sister her husband and his mom were kind enough to give me some of theirs because I don't own a Keurig machine and I'm not really that much of a coffee drinker I prefer herbal tea ginger lemon don't judge me but you get two tutorials in one first we're gonna clean them out and prepare them for recycling and of course for using as a roller I'm gonna show you guys up close so you can see exactly how I do it and these are the ones that I'm using Folgers and Maxwell House you guys let me know what type of coffee you drink I start by piercing with my nail scissors and cutting in a semicircle halfway then peeling the aluminum lid off and going in with a hair clip digging everything out the coffee grounds and the filter paper making sure I get all of it I struggled with the Maxwell house because it was dry but the Folgers was still kind of moist it apparently retains more water than Maxwell house so it was a lot easier for me to take everything out I went ahead and put some cleaner in there Castile soap and water and put the cups in my sink really hot water and Castile soap to clean them out and I also grabbed my comb to just get in there and pat everything down so that they could be nice and soaked so I'm gonna take this opportunity to congratulate Esther Innocent for correctly guessing what type of roller I used on my hair I don't know how you guys actually come up with the answers because every time I assume nobody's going to get it but somebody gets it so congratulations Esther and I already messaged you so make sure you email me now what I did half an hour later was I went in and just started scraping and brushing to clean them out even further and I came back in an hour later an hour from the time that I started and these cups soaked for a total of an hour I cleaned them out completely and anything that came out into this edges brush slash comb combo ended up being put aside I didn't let any of that excess filter paper go in the sink because I already have too much going on in the sink and I don't want to clog up these drains but I had this problem child and it was very interesting because this particular cup was the only one that appeared to have something that looked like plaster in it and it also had some excess plastic a whole excess plastic lining inside that was just so weird to me all the others were relatively easy to clean but this one I had to go the extra mile for so whatever cups you have if you try to do this they may be different from the ones that I have you never know what's inside now after cleaning out and making sure everything was great I went ahead and drained the sink and started rinsing these cups in hot water because I'm wearing my gloves it didn't burn me too much but I wanted to make sure they were nice and clean I didn't want anything remaining there and I took my time really making sure everything came off all the soap is gone all the water is gone everything perfect 
and lay them out on a towel to dry for about 24 hours before I use them. And I can't remember how many I had, but I had at least 40 of these bad boys from my sister. So I'm going to move right along and show you guys how I curled my hair. I started on some stretched out hair. It was actually after I curled my hair with spoolies about five days later and I used my Trelux 4-in-1 styling cream. I'll have the information down in the description box but I figured I'll use this product because I already have had amazing results with it when doing perm rod sets and spoolies and it dries fast. So I looked around for the hole after rolling from the tips to the roots and I put my bobby pin in and then went on the other side and put it in at the base that way it would secure the roller and that's basically what I did I made sure I had a bobby pin coming from both sides to make sure the hair didn't completely fall off so it was a bit challenging but I made it and of course I applied too much product as you can see like you can literally see the product right there and I really shouldn't have used that much but I was heavy-handed for some odd reason I don't know why honestly you guys but I did smooth down and keep my thumb there to make sure the hair didn't go all over the place pin the roller down at the roots and then of course searched for a hole in there to pin it from the other direction and that's it that's literally all that I did the first time it did take me a while because of pinning and searching for that hole by the way when I was done I made sure I snapped the pin in place and these are the short bobby pins just in case anybody's wondering the long ones are not gonna work when going in from the mouth of the roller The next day I went ahead and removed my rollers and my hair was completely dry because of the product that I used, thank goodness. So that was one thing I didn't have to worry about, but it was a little bit crispy because I used too much product. So this is what we're looking like. I feel like the curls were really pretty and I feel like they would look great if I had longer hair and I think they would be perfect for somebody with a looser texture than mine or straight hair because it would be so much easier for them to use these rollers. I'm not yet accustomed to larger rollers. I like smaller ones. If you've watched my previous videos, you know this. I generally prefer anything under an inch, but this is what my hair was looking like when I was done. And I went in again just to test and see how it would work out on very kinky, freshly washed hair as opposed to hair that was kind of stretched out. So I applied the product all over my hair and then I went in with some of my swamp oil mix and there's a lot of amla in here, castor oil, olive oil, ostrich oil, shebe oil. So basically every oil I own is just mixed in and that's it. After I applied the product, I went ahead and put my hair in bantu knots to stretch it out. And the bantu knots will make it easier for me to comb my natural hair because my hair is difficult to comb by itself. So I needed to be damp and stretched out to comb it without damaging it. And the bantu knots also make it easier for me to curl my hair after I detangle it. So I did have one left out, but that's not important. I removed my bantu knots after half an hour and I combed my hair using a rake comb and it just combed so easily. I was very happy because that saves time for me and I don't have to suffer. Now, these are perfect because you can stack them. And I went ahead and started rolling my hair. I did apply extra product on my ends to make them a little bit more smooth and then rolled again from the tips to the root and secured at the root and again I am pinning at the root and then pinning on top some of them were just more challenging so I made sure they were really really secure then I went ahead and pinned from the other side basically getting into that hole I did not do it with everyone this time if I didn't feel like my hair was going to fall off, I didn't go on the other side, but this is what I looked like when I slept. 
and I'm going to go ahead and remove the rollers again the next day. I did sit under the dryer this time for about 20 minutes because I was not 100% convinced that my hair would dry because it was damp. Last time I had my hair dry before I used product, this time it was wet before I used product so I made sure I dried it just a little bit to get it started and everything smelled like coffee. So this is what my curls are looking like on a fresh wet set and I really need to practice my roller sets you guys. I need to start watching tutorials of actual hairstylists doing roller sets because I, this is not it. This is literally not it. But I did have some pretty cute curls considering the fact that I'm an amateur when it comes to larger rollers. And I went ahead and put my hair up first in a banana clip and this is what it looks like. I wasn't really invested in this look so I went with a bun because that's easy to sleep in and easy to work with long term. As the days go by, I won't have too many challenges with this. So that's all there is for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching, as always. I do have other videos over here in case you want to watch before you decide on whether or not you want to subscribe. I'll talk to you guys later. Take care of yourselves and bye.